Hi, buddy. It's Daddy, and we're going to read another story. So this story is called Rabbit Ears. This is another one of your new books that I want to read to you. Let's read it. Let's see. This one is called Rabbit Ears. Let's see what this one's about. Oh, he's wearing a bag on his head. That can't be good. This is about a bunny named Hopscotch. Hopscotch knew what he liked and what he did not like. Hopscotch did not like lumpy pudding, cold, wet paws, and losing Rabbity just before bedtime, even though Rabbity was usually found exactly where Hopscotch had left him. <laughs> Sounds familiar. And Hopscotch knew for absolute certain he did not like one thing the most. having his ears washed. Look at his mom. He's trying to get him to come back to the bathtub so he get his ears washed. He's running away from his mommy. See the bathtub? There's the bathtub. There's mommy with the towel. And there's Hopscotch with his dirty ears. Hopscotch liked his ears dry. He did not like them soapy. The soap always ran away, then ended up in his nose and made him sneeze. The sneezes shook him from his soggy, drippy ears all the way down to his toes. Hopscotch did not like it one bit. Look at he's in the bathtub like yours. There's a boat. Hopscotch would do a lot to, ha to, to have his ears washed. With Rabbity's help, he would hide them. Sometimes he'd pretend that he had suddenly turned into a cat. A cat with very small, clean ears. Look at he's dressed up like a cat. He thinks he's a kitty. Or he would hold on to them very, very tightly. Oh, he doesn't want his ears washed. Hopscotch's mother, Hopscotch's mother tried tricking him. Where's the airplane? Hopscotch's mother tried begging him, please, just this once. She even tried chocolate cake. Look, it's your favorite. She's giving him cake in the bathtub. Oh, that's funny. One day, Hopscotch's big cousin Bobtail came to stay, just for one day and a night. Hopscotch and Bobtail played high jump and long jump. Then they listened for danger as they rescued Rabbity from the lion's den. They played and played until all too soon it was supper time. When can I go and stay all by myself at Bobtail's? asked Hopscotch through a mouthful of extra chocolatey chocolate cake. When you were big, little Hopscotch, said Daddy, when you were big, after supper it was time for a bath. Hopscotch was happily playing submarines when he noticed something odd. Bobtail was washing his own ears. He didn't seem to mind the runaway soap, not one bit, and he didn't get the sneezes at all, not one sneeze. Big rabbits wash their own ears, thought Hopscotch. See? There's Bobtail washing his own ears. What a big rabbit. Hopscotch felt it might be a good idea to practice ear washing on Rabbity first. Rabbity didn't seem to mind it at all. In fact, they had fun with all the bubbles. What are you up to, Hopscotch? asked Daddy. I'm practicing, said Hopscotch. Practicing what? asked Daddy. Practicing washing my ears so I can be big and go and stay with Bobtail all by myself, said Hopscotch. Well, said Daddy, that's wonderful. Hopscotch knew what he liked and what he really liked. He liked bath time with Rabbity and clean, soapy ears. 
He really likes singing a song with mommy to celebrate his very clean ears. Soapy, soapy, soapy ears, soapy ears, soapy ears. Washy, washy, washy ears, washy ears, washy ears. Fluffy, fluffy, fluffy ears, fluffy ears, fluffy ears. All day long. That's a fun song. And best of all, he liked playing his favorite games. Waving goodbye to mommy and daddy and going to stay with his big cousin Bobtail for one whole day in a night all by himself. Well, almost by himself. See, he's having a sleepover like you do sometimes at Nana and Bamps. He brings his bag and puts on his PJs. But Rabbity came too. And that's a nice story because he brought his favorite Rabbity. The end. That was a nice story about Hopscotch the Rabbit and washing his big ears. All right, buddy. Well, that's another story. Hope you uh, liked it. And I miss you and love you. And Mommy's got to give you a big hug and a kiss for you from me. Okay, love you and night nights. Bye.